Hello, Steamboat. It's me, TC. Uh, beautiful Wednesday down here at the Chief Theater. And uh, we're loving what we're doing. Got the audience nice and under control. Try not to distract me. Um, it's time. The hockey playoffs are cruising smoothly along. The Zam fams are making the ice stealth mode, but I've been uh, watching. I'm not surprised by anything, but I need some details as to who and what's going to happen in the next round. So in a new segment I like to call, what the puck? I got Vlad and Chase. Vlad and Chase, come on down. Bum, bum, ba, no. No. Vlad, you here? Welcome back, big man. How are you? Oh, it's early. Really, really. I know. We're not golfing. We're not skating, but you're here. I just skated yesterday, and I'll probably golf this week, so I'm all right. You're good. You did yeah. skate yesterday. Yeah. Oh God, you win? No, we lost pretty badly. Whoa. <laughs> That I don't hear from you often. That's all right. Who got you? Nick Corelli's team. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. The plug himself. Yeah. <laughs> let's not give them any love. Yeah, let's no. Don't do that. No. So uh, let's go uh, NHL quick. Um, are you surprised at the results thus far? Uh, no. I'm surprised that Boston and Toronto are going to seven. Yeah. Boston was kind of rolling, as much as it pains me to say. I thank you. <laughs> But uh, Harvey will call us here anytime. Yes, he will. We'll be looking for the text messages. Nice. But yeah, I was surprised they're going to seven. Um, other than that, kind of sad to see Columbus blow a two-game lead, especially when they won on the road twice. Washington, right? They they got through the first round. Yeah, but I mean that's they're they're known to get through the first, first round, round, not necessarily the second round. Will they have a bit, they'll be up a couple games in the second round and maybe lose it? I don't know. They're playing Pittsburgh and oh Pittsburgh's god, they won't get up numbered. at all. No, they they'll probably. Oh no! We'll probably be dropping that one. So Ovechkin, Crosby. That's been a fable for so long now, <laughs> and it's like okay, it's fantastic, but, but they play such different style of games, and now Crosby's continued his output, <laughs> and Ovechkin has looked older and older each year. Are is it Pittsburgh management? Up? Are they putting the perfect pieces around Crosby? Yeah, that's a piece of it, um, pun fully intended, sure. but. Honestly, it's just they have such good scouting. I mean, they yeah. lost guys each year that they had their cup wins, and they've been able to fill those holes. They've made some really good moves at the deadline to acquire players. Mm -hmm. They got Broussard this year, and right. he, you know he's a he's a big name guy who's going to help them, you know, make another deep run. But uh, it's just some really good moves for management, and it's so hard in today's day with yeah. the cap, and Ugh. they've been able to somehow do that. And I mean, a lot of these deals you're retaining some of the ca uh, the salary cap for sure. these guys because that's the only way they can be made. So right. pretty interesting. Um, we haven't, I don't think I've seen you since the end of the Nashville, Colorado series. Mm -hmm. You got your shirt. I saw it. I'm representing. Yeah. Um, you okay? <laughs> Did you steal my shirt? I'm, no, I'm a little I, confused. Well, here's the deal. At one point, you used to let me <laughs> sit in the booth with you and call the soccer games. I know people want me to come back and do that with you at some point. I should do that. I haven't but, heard that yet. Oh, you didn't get that memo? <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'm Mr. Sorry. DeWolf, could you uh, <laughs> please, Steamboat Booster Club, let them know that we're a team. Um, and I heard there might be new gear that you got, so I wanted to remind you that I'm a medium. Mm -hmm. And if you get the new gear, I'm, I'm available. Medium, okay. okay. I'll take a mental note of that. Okay. So, Colorado, Nashville. Yeah, I, uh, I went to that game six, you and did? it was it was a bummer. Uh, they just looked so flat. Yeah. And just tired. Um, but, I mean... We played them to six games. They're the President's Trophy winning team. Yeah. And, <laughs> I mean, we were missing Johnson. We were missing Varlamov. And then all of a sudden, Bernier, Bernier. got hurt. I mean. Someone told me, Tony, did you realize that was the number three? Yeah. Keeper. I mean, that I was. Didn't. Keeper. I'm There's sorry. a soccer. Transition. Sorry, I was going like to take me it there. when I call any other game. I hear you. Yeah, we'll go to your. We always. I always do. Blue lines on the one. soccer. <laughs> Field. You got my text during the game. I sure did. Yeah, and but you I didn't sure give me my did. love. Like, no, Tony says no blue lines in soccer. But we'll go to oh, that. Man. So Colorado, enthusiasm from game five, the emotion, the, mm -hmm. and then you come out six. Because Nashville jumped on them early, right? Yeah, again, I really think, I mean, there was a goal that was disallowed for Nashville. Oh, right. And then everyone in the stadium was kind of like, all right, all right, this is good. Um, and and then later? Within, yeah, I mean, there was a, the only reason it was a minute was because of commercial break. 
You know, I mean, they scored <laughs> right after. Like face off. So, goal. I mean, it was so quick and yeah. it was deflating. And I think they would have needed to score the first goal to really have any chance. Yeah. Because that would put some fire in their belly. Energy, but, momentum. You know, and then all of a sudden there's a second goal right after that. And they kind of, you could see, deflated and they're like just a tired team. Sure. But uh, that's because they're young. They haven't, you know, a lot of these kids, there was, I think, 11 skaters who made their playoff debuts for us. Wow. And uh, it was... Yeah, it's pretty wild to see some of these things and um, how well they did. McKinnon and who's the other guy? Landis Gog, Brandon. So those two, McKinnon, our future, like, can we lock those guys in forever? They're not going to I mean, we've got McKinnon, and I think he, this was the first year of his seven-year seven contract. Cool. And then Landis Gog signed for another couple seasons. Rantanen still on his um, entry-level deal. Okay. And so he'll probably get signed here pretty soon. You probably hear and know the vibe. Are those boys happy with oh, yeah. improving oh, yeah. from that, 45 I mean, points to... You listen to them, and they're saying all the right things, which okay. I mean, they're athletes getting paid a lot of money. Sure. So it's like, yeah, I'd say whatever you wanted me to say, coaching staff. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's excitement. I mean, there's definitely some disappointment, which, which is good to hear. Sure. Because they're like, yeah, we made this, and that's great, but we want to win the Expected Cup. Expected more. And so, I mean, now the bar is set, and I think next year is a really big one for us. Mm -hmm. Whether it be, you know, sneaking into wild card, I don't think that's the biggest thing, I think winning a playoff round Period. next year. I mean, we need to. Okay. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Yeah. Everyone tells me that's an exciting team. Again, I didn't watch much of them. You, you like what they oh, yeah. bring to the ice for sure. Yeah, Vasilevsky, their goalie, is up for the Vesna. So okay. the three finalists there were Rene, who we played, um, and then Vasilevsky and Connor Hellebuck okay. from Winnipeg. Okay. So, yeah, Tampa Bay's good. They've got a loaded roster, and it's just going to be really tough for anyone to take them down. I'm gotcha. interested to see... Game seven tonight for right. Boston and Toronto. Who do you got? Who do you think? Um, oh, it's hard. Anderson in goal for Toronto? Yep. I like He's him. He's made some incredible, incredible saves. I have Boston one. And they're at home. It's game seven. I know. It's deflating for me to even say that. Do you have any of the um, Harvey jinx just from being affiliated with him? Can you affect it that? So I have Boston winning, Perfect. like I said. <laughs> um, it'll be interesting to see because the winner of that game plays Tampa Bay. Yeah. And then that'll be a really fun series. Honestly, Boston would be a better series. Okay. They're an established team. Toronto could be electric because yep. they've got Matthews, Nylander, this young core. Mm -hmm. And then they just aren't established. Sure. And, and they need to win a series to get that experience. And there's only so long, and that's why I talked about it with the Avs, there's only so many years you can kind of – make the playoffs, and then, well, we didn't win a series. Right. But we made the playoffs. Yeah. Like Columbus is there, too, right? Now they're kind oh. of a team where they are expected to make the playoffs, mm -hmm. and now they need to take the next step. And you know I've had a, these Golden Knights. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be okay? Yeah, I, I think out of the four matchups right now, one of them still being decided, as we yeah. just said, but I think that has the potential to go seven games. That's wow. probably one of the games in their series I like yeah. to go. Which is going to be fun. They're such a shutdown team. Right. Um, they're really dependent on Flurry though, and okay. he played so well, like lights out mm -hmm. in that first round. I think he had something like a nine, five, seven save percentage. Wow. And he got a couple shutouts. I mean, it was an LA team that has some firepower. And yeah. He was able to slam the door, but a couple years in a row for Pittsburgh, he was the one that was yanked in favor of a young guy, yeah. Matt Murray. Yeah. And, you know, the first year, obviously, was Murray's uh, freshman campaign. So you look at that kind of stuff and you worry. You know, if there is a drop-off, it could be a cliff. Okay. Um, let's uh, get a little high school update real quick. What's happening with the girls and the boys and, and what we got soccer going? Yep, soccer and lacrosse yeah. that we're calling. So I'm really, I've got the, you know, hand on the pulse, so to speak, yes. with that one. Uh, the soccer team is just, it's kind of sad because they had this, you know, a rough start with a game against Glenwood, and then they rattled off six wins, including against Golden, yeah. and then Lewis Palmer, which was huge. Yes. Um, then they've kind of had a rough spot. They lost twice to Palisade. Yeah. So down the stretch, we'll see what happens. They're going to have to win out to even give themselves any shot oh. at kind of making a playoff run. But it may not be the case just okay. because um, – you lose those games, you're down to Palisade now a couple, you split with Battle Mountain, that's great, um, but they only usually take two teams from the Western right. State. Right. And then lacrosse, Yes. lacrosse can win it all. Whoa. If they can... If hot they, take. Yeah, hot take. Hot if take. they can put it together, they are one of the best teams that I've ever been able to call. From really? This team, yeah, or from this town. Okay. Deep, it's exciting. deep, deep, 
And the thing is, they only have two or three sophomores, which is really unique for Steamboat. Wow. Um, because of our size and how small we are. Everyone else is juniors and seniors. Mm -hmm. It's a really special class. They've got these guys that have been playing together for so long. Uh, Neil Redfern, you know, coached a lot of these kids when they were growing up. And sure. Then, um, it's just an exciting time. But, again, you're dealing with high schoolers. So <laughs> it's like, who are you going to get? And then just the other day, against, but really against both teams, or both times they played Palisade, the girls' soccer team kind of had this issue where they just – had too many players that have off days. Oh. And that's what you're going to get with high school, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. I mean, when that happens, it's, it's tough. Um, what's the game? What's the next game's coming up? What do we got? Uh, we've got a Tuesday game, soccer, 6 o'clock. Okay. Uh, I believe. I'm looking for some confirmation. I think so. And then we've got two games <laughs> on Thursday of next week. Okay. Uh, we'll be covering both those at 4 o'clock lacrosse, 6 o'clock soccer. And then a Saturday game next week as well. All right. Um, I had a request from some people. They want to know more about me. Ask me one of those questions. <clears throat> All right. Well, it struck my eye. Name three or four things on your bucket list. Ah, we like this one. Um, I want to go to Spain to see uh, Barcelona Stadium. I'd like to do that. I would like to, while there's a game, or are you okay with just seeing the stadium? Well, here's the deal. If there's no game, I'm going to try and sneak on the field. Nice. Just <laughs> some of that. But So I'd like to see the match. Uh, two, I really do want to get back into calling high school sports with Vlad and Chase. That's weird. I think I know that guy. I can okay, talk to him. Cool. And uh, third, I'd like to host my own TV show. Wow. So I'm. That's You're a lucky I'm, man. I'm trying to do things the <laughs> right way. You're a lucky way. man. What the puck? <laughs> Vlad and Chase, thanks, buddy. We're going to try and keep doing this. I love Come it. Come back, keep us informed. Have a great day, my man. Thanks so much. Hello, Steamboat. We'll be back. I got. Todd Danielson, super fun show, inspiration creator, founder, uh, philanthropist. Stick around. Hello, Steamboat. We'll be right back.